Uh, I'm not really surprised because that's kind of what I saw whenever I saw the PlayStation logo. But hmm. but once you learn that it's that way, you're like, I can't once look at you it again. Learn. Yeah, you can't unlearn. Actually, you can. It's called forgetting. You do it all the time before a fucking final. Shut up, Solar. Yeah, yeah, you know. You're saying shut up because I'm right. <laughs> You're saying shit up because I'm right. I said shut up. No, you're saying you said you're saying shut up, shit up because I'm right. Are you saying shit up? Because you I said you're shit, up. shit up right Shoot. now. Fuck, dude. I'm pressing like the shit up. last button. He's sitting there like a dumbass. Oh, the fucking. I I've seen the thing you just posted, Riley. The fucking. Uh, the Nikes. Those things are so ugly, but also really fun. I'd, I'd wear them. I'd get the, the blue one. Yeah, the blue one, absolutely. But I think that they're. It's a set. So you you get one of the blue, one of the brown. Uh. I don't. I'm not sure about that. The way that it's looking like here, it's a big ass box that will include a mismatched Space Jam themed pair of LeBron Lowe's and an Xbox. Yeah, so it is mismatched, mismatched intentionally. So you get the brown one and the blue one. Why? Because it's funny, I guess. Oh, oh, it's it's Roadrunner and Wiley e. Coyote. All right. Yeah. You know what? That. that makes sense. It's I'm still gonna trigger my OCD. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at these fucking so the first thing that they have on there is like this Xbox and Adidas collaboration like it looks like shit and I'm looking at these and like they look fine like tell me if this looks weird to you guys there let's see like these pair of shoes these look fine right yeah they look fine Hold on. I guess I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gone with a clear sole to it because I, I think that's just gonna look good, like shit yeah. in the future. But otherwise, yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, it almost looks like there's like a plastic cover that's covering the actual sole of the shoe. Yeah, because yeah, like you can but see like, like under the plastic, like you can good. see like you can see like the grips and shit. Like the yeah. Like, it looks like somebody just took a plastic cap and just stuck it on the bottom of the shoes. Like, the guy who oh, wrote this article is just so angry, and I'm like, why? These are fine. It's I mean, Blizzard's yeah, they're Buffalo functional. The they will serve around. their purpose, and they're not, like, crazy. They're, 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 they're shoes. I still wish I could have gotten one of those Gorillas pairs of Converse from, like, 2011. Yes! I He's still like don't a... understand sneakerheads. I will never understand it. I'm not a sneakerhead. I, I just, I, I never... like... <laughs> I never understood the people that will, like, buy goddamn, I guess, yeah, sneakerheads. The people that will buy, like, $500 shoes, and then they'll just, like, oh, no, I can't kneel down because I might crease them. The fuck their shoes? Yeah. 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 That's their purpose. Like, this yeah. is coming from a guy who wears, like, oh, you know, New Balances all every day. So, like, I'm not to be respected. But I, I, I wear one pair of fucking sneakers outside, and that, that is the only pair of shoes I will wear outside unless I'm yeah. required to wear something fancier or I, like I'm going hunting. So I'll put Apparently on you know the boots. Is the only Fair. Pair, uh, the like is. for me, especially for someone who is ki kind of sort of a sneakerhead, I will never understand why people don't like basically use shoes for like regular usage if they're gonna wear it <laughs> definitely not a sneakerhead then not and, even remotely yeah you're not a sneakerhead. you're cool no you just listen galaxy you're the one thing most of us aren't you're stylish that's the <laughs> difference <laughs> oh, no. oh shit i was really hoping you'd be able to just hover the rest of the way across there but it would have been didn't really funny it would have been really cool can i be heard yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, heard. I was saying a couple of things. Uh, yeah, no, we heard you. We heard you. We were just kind of having a thing. Just didn't care. We no, we heard you. A, we heard you. We were just having a conversation. Also, that snowman's a real piece of shit. Fucking like tried to Mr. President you off the edge. <laughs> Mr. President, get down. Also, you might want to. Are, are you supposed to just go? Okay, I guess you are. All right. I guess so. <laughs> I was like, it looked like I may the have to check the pit beneath you. 
Yeah, it looked like it. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait on this one. You're gonna have to take the uh, advanced way down. How maybe many? Not, maybe when... not so far, because there might be another pit actually. When hey, does yeah, there when does Space Jam: A New Legacy come out again? I I know July it's 16th. this month. July sixteenth. Ah, Yep. I am excited for that movie. Yes, I know. Definitely see that in theaters. The, the sneak, the oh, no. sneak peeks that I've been seeing in that for that movie is just people are saying that it's gonna be a train wreck, and I'm just here <laughs> gonna be like, it's a cinematic masterpiece. Hey, we. It'll be dumb fun. It's yeah. dumb fun. It's yeah, always it, it's a train wreck, dumb fun, but with a with a hint of cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> Watch, I don't think like, you understand the difference between dumb fun and train wreck. Unfortunately, See, train a lot wreck of implies people... that there is nothing salvageable about it. it. Like it is a lost cause. There is no reason to see it. Period. Dumb fun is like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna turn my brain off while I watch this movie because I don't really have to think about the plot. It's just there's a lot of dumb action going on screen, and I'm having a good time watching it. It's, Not to it's jinx... the difference. Oh no, you go golden. Not to yeah. jinx anything, but this is kind of a pattern I see that I have a feeling it may be fun and maybe good, and people will just like appreciate it more. But then like. Near the release date, Rotten Tomatoes gives it like a 20%. I'm like, okay, well, I gave Who my Who gives up. a flying fuck what critics say? Like, literally in the past year, people have realized, oh yeah, movie critics are kind of a fucking joke. I'm going to disagree hard with you, Chief, but okay. <laughs> but also, like, here's, here's the thing about Space Jam 2. There's no way it can be worse than the first one. Like, physically... Dude. Here is here's here's my counterpoint to your original point. Godzilla King of the Monsters. It focuses too much on the monsters rather than the human drama. I mean That's that's a fucking clown take if I have ever heard one in my life. I mean, I kind it's of It's called Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. Not called, but if not called people versus Godzilla. <laughs> but like Godzilla movies for a long time were incredibly like human driven and they had plots that mattered and the human plots weren't just a side story boring or not or nothing like so being like yeah it kind of blows that these movies don't have anything to say or do with the human characters they just exist the like human that characters in the first godzilla movie uh took up all the screen time of the actual person that we wanted to see and i at mean least with some of my other favorite movies that i do like where it's like oh like, because I do like the old school Godzilla movies, and I do understand, yeah, there's a lot of human based bullshit in that too. And it's also coupled with really bad Japanese English voice acting. But, but like, at yeah. least with the stuff there, it's like they're directly involved with the plot, not just kind of there being useless until they can actually do something because the plot says they can. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because this in the is... first one, it was basically, okay, we're humans, and we're going to oh, shoot no. at the big ah. monster with guns, and somehow people are going to realize, oh, wait, guns don't work on the big monster. So now we're going to blow it up with nukes against Godzilla. Yeah, that's going to turn out well. But that was also really good. It turns out we didn't need it at all, however, because the nuke ended up blowing up away from fucking everywhere else. I mean, the point of the first Godzilla movie was not... Hey, let's make a let's make a monster movie. It's hey, nuclear weapons are fucked up, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, we have like yes. a collective sh we have a collective shared trauma about that. Big lizard. I mean, this is what yeah, happens because I, I had to write a paper Godzilla about Godzilla was shit. not the original Godzilla. Oh, I thought you were talking about the ori like uh, uh, the original I'm original about Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. yeah. Godzilla no, King I'm of the Monsters, but not that Godzilla King of the Monsters. God, I hate the naming conventions of these movies. <laughs> I'm still wondering what's going to happen with the MonsterVerse from now on, because, like... I have no idea either, because technically their license for Godzilla actually ran out beforehand, yep. but they were still working on Godzilla vs. Kong, so, like, they had that last movie. I yeah. think that was basically just to be, hey, this is what we're doing, can we still use Godzilla? If not, we've got Kong. Yeah. Which I, I still yeah. make my, my argument, my conspiracy theory that somebody either intentionally or just as a precaution was like, listen, we can't let the monkey win. 
Otherwise, Toho's gonna get mad at us. So they had to do a lot of we sucky We want to just. I think it's just the pure logic of okay, they're both big and strong, except for one of them can breathe a nuclear inferno. Yeah, but and like the other one, the other one needed two sources of outside help. What the movie feels like it's always building to. It's like it feels like it's it's been building like. Hey, Kong is gonna defeat Godzilla because, like, that's the arc of his character and the arc of the movie. It's his movie. Godzilla is the antagonist and the force of nature that Kong eventually prevails over. And then somebody halfway through the writing process was like, "Listen, Toho, we run out of the license after this. Toho is gonna like might want to take it back. So make sure the, the lizard looks strong so we can say, hey, we're treating your property well. You know, let us keep doing it." I, yes, I that is my I, that is I, my conspiracy theory. My 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 conspiracy theory is Godzilla was just fucking stronger. I I'm just saying I think that they but, that somebody at some point Godzilla, was like Godzilla is like a fucking renowned heavyweight champion fighter and called <coughs> somebody in his twenties that just got accepted into the circuit. Well, and here's the thing. Too, well, here's the thing too about the legendary Godzilla. It's kind of a he's kind of more of a force of nature than an actual character. Godzilla has always been a force of nature. Like, well, that's yeah. been his entire driving. Like, I guess you could say that's his entire character is being that force of nature. God, this guy I, was a cake. In walk. some, in some yeah, ways, yes, fast. but but like a lot of like stuff, like especially during the Showa era, where like they tried to give him more of a personality, they gave him a fucking kid and all that and all this other stuff. The Showa era was just weird. I liked yeah. the Showa era, but like they, they had their most like out there ideas. Oh, Godzilla says I need to fight my own battles, don't you know? Get the fuck, the fuck out. out. <laughs> yeah, but that's. I, I still think somebody, somebody somewhere in some level was either to like make the monkey die or was like, hey, you know, or either Toho or somebody at Legendary is like, the monkey's gotta die so we can keep our lizard. I'm st I still don't buy it. I still think Godzilla was just stronger. Like, Kong I'm not, I don't fight. care about. I'll fucking give him that. No, I, I don't did, care about like. I actually the... enjoyed a lot of the things that Kong did in his fight because he had to get really creative with how he was going to attack. I still think yeah. Godzilla was just straight up stronger. Like in a straight up power contest, Godzilla wins. Like I don't even care about the internal movie. Like it feels like somebody wrote a Kong movie with Godzilla, and then they were like, "Yeah, that's a great Kong movie," and you know, this is the character arc you're going on, but we're gonna lose the license, so Godzilla wins. Lol. Like. They rewrote part of it to be like, okay, but Godzilla has to win, otherwise we're gonna lose the license. <laughs> like, is it's the se the one the one that I got this from was the second fight where it's like they have the moment where Kong beats Godzilla, and then two seconds later Godzilla gets up and kills Kong. And I'm like, what the fuck? You just that was his whole arc. The, the whole main arc. part is the main part I agree with you on, at least where it sounds like that, is where like Kong gets maybe one good hit in that entire fight, and like, oh, looks like Kong won round two. It's like, the fuck, he got one hit, and it yeah. wasn't even that good because he got blown back too. So what the fuck? How did he win? Like, if the roles, because like they were like, we still have to fulfill the idea that K Kong had a character arc, and actually, you know. That he that this uh, he actually meant did. anything, like if he just immediately loses to Godzilla, it's like then what did we do? We spent an hour and a half on nothing. Like that's I I'm not saying like Toho went in and said hey kill the lizard, but it really felt like it. <laughs> well, Toho said kill the lizard. They did a pretty crap job at that. Or lizard not kill the one. lizard. Kill the kill the monkey. Kill the monkey or we take away your lizard. Kill the monkey or we take the lizard. Because, like, and somebody oh, in the YouTube comments was like, what? someone in the comment section was like, because I, I wrote this on a YouTube comment section, someone was like, yeah, but in the original one, they killed Godzilla for, you know, King Kong. I'm like, Still yeah, that's because. That was such a fucking asshole. It's like, yeah, because Toho was making it and they had full control over it and they didn't have to worry about any licenses or some shit. Legendary also, is on the, borrowed time for this. Also, in the original film, in the original <laughs> Japanese dub, it's not clear who the winner is because they ask, do you think Godzilla won? Or like, they ask, who do you think won? They're, they say something like, oh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. 
It was some shit like that. And then in the American version, they specifically said, no, no, Godzilla dies. Trust me, guys, I swear. Yeah, but it's like that, like, because Legendary, the, the MonsterVerse really doesn't have most of their, like, world building is based on the Toho stuff. Oh. So, like, yeah. they really need to keep the Toho stuff around or they don't have a series. You know what I'm waiting for? <laughs> I'm waiting for a fucking Shin Godzilla sequel. Bro, that'd be so fucking good. I Shin love Godzilla. Shin Godzilla. It was so good. Has a, but didn't Japan say they had, like, no plans for Godzilla right now or something? Or Toho, I mean, not Japan. Yeah. Toho was pretty much like, hey, we're just going to let the legendary guys handle it for a little bit. For, we don't really know what we want to do yet. For lack of a better phrasing, uh, Toho is Japan in this context. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, we'll just let those American guys handle it for right now. Those American guys we... seem to have their monster fighting shit uh, on top. Fuck? Oh, damn it. Oh, speaking of Godzilla, didn't Singular Point didn't come out? Uh, yeah, it came out like a couple so. weeks ago. I, uh, I still haven't seen it on Netflix, or like, dude, it came out a couple so weeks ago on Netflix, seen. but I don't think I've... Is it a series, or is it like a anime I movie I think it's a series? Thing? What is I think it was going to be a series, yeah. Hello, what now? It, it's it's kind of it's kind of just struck me as strange, though, at the very least, because all the monsters that I've seen aren't really that big. They're like house-sized, maybe? Like, not fucking giant corporation building size, like house-sized, not even like a two-story house. Oof. There you go, now you got it. There, Here there it is. you go, God. Godzilla. Godzilla's singular point, add to my Even, list. like, even Jet Jaguar, who's supposed to be able to fucking grow to goddamn, like, 50 meters tall, I think, was the, the cannon height they said in the movie. There's, uh... She, she's still also, like, only about house size. Okay, there's 13 episodes of Singular Point on Netflix. God damn, already? Fuck. E. Are it... How many of them are dubbed, if there are any? Um, that I Cause don't I... know. Because I remember there was like something about it was being released somewhere else, but not here yet. I think it was like released in Japan first, and then, and then America, but I'm not entirely sure. Don't Come on! Whoops! Don't worry, you got this really cool jet ski. Okay, so I'm watching the trailer on Netflix, and the in the trailers and is dubbed. So I'm guessing the series is dubbed. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking then. Also, I've been hearing good things about that Camp Cretaceous series. I need to check that out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Never heard of it before. It's a uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. It's an animated series. An animated Jurassic World series? Yeah. Huh. On Netflix. I might look at it. I just, I need to watch more stuff. Like, I still haven't seen In the Heights yet. I just watched Luca like last oh, week. Oh, In the Heights is so good. I've heard it's good. I just haven't seen it. I've been busy. You think Electroweb would be useful against this guy underwater? I mean, Pokemon rules say that it would be. I mean, water and electricity are a bad mix. Listen, just throw a toaster at him. Yeah, just hit him with the toaster bath. Yes. Like, seriously. Just ah. Mega Man, carry a toaster. No. Or ice? Because it freezes water? Maybe. Well, it keeps you, know, it keeps you from getting uh, hit by those. Oh. There you go. I guess, I guess ice was the answer. Do you think there's going to be a Blu-ray release of the Mitchells vs. the Machines? Because I hope I there's hope a Blu-ray so. release. Well, yeah, even I how big of a so, hit it was. Also, yeah, it would... Honestly, Mitchell's vs. Machines kind of just took Netflix by storm. I hey, can I can I say what? something? I what? still haven't seen it. Oh, <laughs> why? The fuck not? I, why? I, need, I need to see it. I've been busy, and I you you really do need to see it because it's so, the Lord it's Chris Miller. I know it is. Trust me, Alex Hirsch, it. and yes. writers from Gravity Falls. I know. I know it's all those things. It came out the week I was like 
in the middle of final, I was ending my finals and I had to do all my checkout stuff for my residence. So I didn't have time to watch it. And I've just been a little bit busy. I'll have watch it some point. making time? Damn it. There's just so much shit. I, I'm two episodes behind on Loki. Like the only show I'm actually caught up with is- Loki's the, been getting good. The only thing I'm caught up on right now is Bad Batch, which is just fucking incredible, so.